Police say they're making progress on several homicide investigations, including one where they found two women dead in a burning car. It happened last weekend near Goodlett Avenue and West 16th Street. 24 Hour News 8's V Win is live at police headquarters now with the very latest developments. V. Yeah, Dave, the coroner's office identified the victims as Martina Webb and Aliyah Igartua from Gary, Indiana. Police have not said what brought them to Indianapolis. We learned today both were shot in the head. This memorial marks a tragic reminder for people in this West Side neighborhood about what happened in this alley last Saturday morning just after midnight. My boyfriend called the fire department and told the fire department that he's seen flames. And when he's seen the flames, he came in and woke me up. One neighbor asked me not to show her face on camera. I started crying because I thought it was my friend. And, you know, I watch out for everybody over here in this neighborhood. This photo taken by the Indianapolis Fire Department shows the magnitude of the flames. Homicide and arson investigators were called to the scene after firefighters found the bodies of 21-year-old Alia Igortua and 24-year-old Martina Webb in the burned car. When I seen on Facebook about the two victims, I'm like, I know them people. She says she knows the mother of one of the victims and added balloons to their memorial. I asked her how the two babies were doing, the victims' babies, and she said they're doing fine. And the four-year-old boy of one of the mothers is crying because he don't have a mother. Police say this homicide marks one of six that happened this past weekend across the city. I've been here for eight months, and we never had any problems like this around here until the night that this happened with the girls. She, like family and friends, want more than anything for the person responsible to be caught. We're just trying to figure out who done it. We're just hoping to find the people that done it. Another neighbor told me off camera she heard people arguing. Then after that, two gunshots. At this time, police say they are still following up on leads and have not released any information on the description of the suspect or motive. Reporting live from police headquarters, V. Wynn, 24 Hour News 8.